Hey, I'm Alec, and today we're going to talk about 10 ways you can elevate your 3D prints. If you've taken the time to troubleshoot, calibrate, and tune your 3D printer, then the print quality you can achieve should be clean and refined. However, for you 3D printer aficionados that are looking for the next step in printer performance, there are many accessories and add-ons that can improve or elevate your printer's capabilities or the finished look of your 3D prints. In no particular order, here are 10 different approaches to improving your 3D prints, so let's jump in. There are many different materials that you can 3D print with to achieve wear resistance, heat resistance, flexibility, but these materials all usually have the unintended side effect of wanting to absorb water, so much so that they'll absorb water from the air. The print dry aims to solve that problem and make it an easy process. You simply set the dial, place your spools inside, and wait several hours and your filament will be dried out, and the longer you leave it the better. Once it's dry, you can even print directly through the ports on the side to make sure materials like nylon aren't soaking up more water while you're printing. Or if you'd like to store your filament and move on to drying the next spool, you can use print dry's vacuum sealed containers to maintain your filament. Depending on the geometry of your 3D print, it may be really easy or incredibly difficult to smooth out all the nooks and crannies by hand. If smoothness is the goal, then using PolySmooth Filament and the Polisher by Polymaker may be the solution you're looking for. PolySmooth is a unique filament called PVB, and it prints like PLA, but can easily be vapor smooth like ABS, but instead uses isopropyl alcohol instead of acetone. The Polysure features a lifting and lowering platform, a nebulizer to vaporize the alcohol into a fine mist, and a timer so you can start smoothing your prints without worrying about forgetting them in it for too long. You should note that the Polysure only works with PolySmooth, or at least PVB-based filaments, and is not suitable for vapor smoothing ABS, as most of the housing is made of ABS and will dissolve itself to pieces. PLA is known for being very beginner friendly. It's an easy to use material, but it's generally limited to low stress applications. Materials like ABS, nylon, or PETG are much better suited for technical 3D printing. However, they do tend to be a bit more sensitive to temperature variations. So there are things like air conditioners, drafts, or even just the room temperature can affect the print success. ABS is notorious for needing a bed temperature near 100 degrees Celsius, or it will warp off the bed, and even still it can split along layer lines from the slightest change in room temperature. You can get lucky and print these materials with success, but an enclosure kit can remove any worry of temperature inconsistency. These kits will usually feature different pieces that can be punched out to allow for aftermarket fan installations, moving the main board, LCD, or power supply out of the enclosure, and relocating the spool holder to a more reachable location. All this means is you can customize an enclosure to be as basic or as complex as you want it to be. When time is not on your side, XTC3D is a great solution to help smooth out your 3D prints. With other finishing methods, you're generally sanding down the prints using various grits of sandpaper and then fillers and primers to help fill in all the striations inherent with FFF 3D printing. With XTC3D, simply mix up part A with part B in the included measuring cups and brush it on. After a couple hours, the epoxy will harden and be ready to go. From here, you can leave it as is and have a super glossy finish on your part. If you don't intend to paint over your XTC 3D and instead wish to use the original color of your 3D print, make sure you don't mix in too much of part B because that part is a little yellow and while it'll still harden just fine if you have too much, it won't give you a glossy finish like you see here, but instead more of a yellowy tint like on some of these fins. For demonstration 3D prints, being able to show the intricacies of your 3D model and describe them in a way that is quickly understood is a powerful capability. The Palette 2 series paired with the Canvas Hub can bring that utility to any printer that uses 1.75mm filament, allowing single nozzle printers to create four color models. Printing 3D models like this animal cell makes it a lot easier to explain how it works, or printing architectural models makes it a lot easier to explain the different parts of the building. And the Palette 2 series is not just limited to multiple colors, you can also do multiple materials in the same print, like rigids, flexibles, and supports. 
I'm sure you've also run into the issue of trying to print out a 3D model to find that it's just not going to fit within your build volume no matter how hard you try to rotate it to fit. And of course you can split your part into multiple pieces and have fasteners to hold it together, but not all models work with that. Sometimes there's just no room to fit any fasteners. Loctite Universal Bonder is a fantastic way to hold two parts together, even if there's nothing mechanical reinforcing the joint, like a dovetail or aligning pins. I've put together two flat surfaces with some Loctite and I could not get them to come apart. And the harder I tried, I just ended up breaking the 3D print and not the seam where the glue was. I've even been able to glue together two pieces of nylon and previously I couldn't get that to stick even using normal super glue, but this worked. As much as I love the look of a finished 3D print, especially if it has really thick layers, sometimes it's necessary to disguise that it was even 3D printed at all. The easiest way I find to do that is to add some sort of texture to the surface of the print to help obscure it. You can use layer lock powder coated PEI to give a textured surface to the bottom of a 3D print, or some stone textured spray paint from the hardware store can help obscure any other surface of a 3D print without needing to do any sanding. Once the paint dries, you can then go back over it with other paint so it's any color that you want it. I really like to use it for something that I'm going to be holding to give it a grip-like texture. So something like a game controller or a camera grip are places I really like to use it. And you can even mask it off so you only texture out some parts of it and not the entire printed part. 3D printing with bargain filament works well for many users and projects, but occasionally there's that important project where it needs to excel, and that's where Pro Series Materials comes in. Pro Series is Matter Hacker's high quality line of filaments made to tight tolerances and features a wider and more vibrant color range. Burgundy, Translucent Violet, and Emerald Dream are just a few of the available bright colors, but of course, you can still find clean, neutral colors in Pro Series filaments for when you need a more subdued prototype color. For projects that demand more out of the technical specifications, engineering grade materials like nylon, rhino, and flex are made to be used for the tough stuff where corner cutting just isn't an option. When reliability counts, Pro Series materials are an excellent solution for results driven 3D printing. Resin-based SLA printers take a little extra care to reach a usable stability. Fresh out of the vat, it's kind of gooey and a little bit flexible. So what you need to do is first wash off any uncured resin from the outside and any internal cavities created by hollowing the model. The Photocentric Ultrasonic Resin Wash Kit uses Photocentric's cleaning solution, a non-flammable solvent that doesn't discolor prints like isopropyl alcohol will, to wash off any resin left behind. After the timer goes off, you simply lift the parts out of the bath and are ready to post-cure them. While the ultrasonic resin wash kit removes resin off the surface of the model, another step is needed to completely harden a 3D print. Piopoli's curing light provides intense UV light to completely cure the model. Without a UV light, you do have other options. You can just take the print and set it outside in the sun, but if you live somewhere not sunny, that can be a problem, like if you live in Seattle, or if you live somewhere dusty, you can get dust to stick to the print and then it cures and stays as one part of the print, which I have had happen to me before. And you're also gonna wanna make sure that you wear eye protection while you're using this light. It is very intense and can damage your eyes if you stare into it, so just please be careful. While each of these accessories isn't essential for successful 3D printing, it certainly makes it easier to attain or just adds more capabilities to your 3D printer. Now these aren't the only ways you can elevate your 3D print, so if you do something different, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something about these different accessories or are thinking about the next thing you wanna do with your 3D printer. If you want to read some in-depth articles, be sure to go to matterhackers.com. And if you want to see some more digital fabrication content, be sure to subscribe. See you on the next one.